Hello from Drexel Hill United Methodist Church just west of Philadelphia. May you find a blessing in weekday transcendence. Remember, Lord, your compassion and mercy which you showed long ago. Do not recall the sins and failings of my youth. In your mercy, remember me, Lord, because of your goodness. Tomorrow, December 21st, is the 35th anniversary of an atrocious crime. Pan Am Flight 103 was blown up over Lockerbie, Scotland, and 270 people were killed. Thirty-five years ago, and I happen to know that there are those for whom the horror and loss of that day are still raw. This season of the year can be especially hard for the bereaved and for those whose families have been devastated by violence. But one of the most powerful glimpses of light and hope that I've seen was just a little over 17 years ago in the aftermath of the Nickel Mines school shooting out in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Ten little girls were shot and five of them were killed. In the midst of that outrageous horror, the Amish community forgave the murderer and sought to comfort his family. Instead of giving way to bitterness and hatred, the Amish community forgave. Lockerbie, Nickel Mines. What governments and the police do in the wake of deadly violence is, of course, vital, but the possibility of profound personal transformation comes when the desire for the light and a, a profound affirmation of life generates the energy to reach out to others. For who knows the need for healing more fully than those who are injured? Spiritual life grows as we put the center of our attention in God and in one another. It sounds contradictory, but it is true that we discover as we move away from ourselves that we are being drawn towards our true and deepest selves. You chose to be called the friend of sinners by your saving death and resurrection, free us from our sins. May your peace take root in our hearts and bring forth a harvest of love, holiness, and truth. Amen. Come and see us again next week at Drexel Hill United Methodist Church for weekday transcendence. And between now and then, remember that lovely digest of John Wesley's thought and theology. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can.